Hardware's laser padding technology is more cost competitive than most competing technologies. And not only cost competitive, but we lay down better structures than any other technology. Harder, more ad uh, adherent, uh, better wear resistant, and much better metallurgical structures than you're going to get with competing technologies. Over the years, uh, AGL and uh, hardware have been working very closely. Uh, and our assessment is uh, those skills have been leading edge and I'd even go as far as saying best in breed. Uh, this technology is a technology which is world class and uh, first time that it's been deployed in situ in this application. The laser technology has been around for, for many years but it's only in the last f five years the technology has become more reliable and this process in particular involves developing uh, a processing head that will allow you to sort of inject the metal powder into the, into the laser melt pool. It's the combination of the two that are really pushing this technology forward and, and making it a, an economical process from an industrial point of view. Laser cladding um, at, at the AGL site here at Torrens Island has been deployed in other applications particularly in uh, the reclamation of uh, uh, other components, high temperature components, and has been deployed very successfully. Uh, we think that laser cladding has got uh, uh, significant opportunities in other applications. One uh, process we are looking at is, is laser cladding in situ on submarines. We can take our equipment down inside a submarine and we can repair things inside the vessel without taking them off. And with submarines, you can't get engines out without cutting a hole in the side. So there, that's one example where, where hardware technology uh, will have benefits for the Defence Force. The next project that hardware is looking at is the in-situ cladding of tram tracks. And not just tram tracks, but also rail tracks. We can offer crack-free coatings and, and, and wear resistant structures to go down on points, on joints, where the current technologies, the structures are just not right and they have to go in continually. Like we can get in there and rebuild tracks to better than new. The big time saving is in, is in that the customer doesn't have to remove the piece of equipment. And so there's a lot less effort and a lot less time involved uh, where essentially we're coming to them and doing the work uh, for them on site. The feedback from industry has been really very, very positive because they can see the benefits in terms of the, the cost of the technology, the range of applications that they really couldn't do in the past. We've developed the technology, we have now transferred it to companies like Hardware to really take it further and commercialise it. So I think the potential is enormous for this sort of technology. It will replace a number of other technologies as people become more familiar with the, with the technology and see the, the, the benefits of, of using it. We thought that there was not an industry that couldn't or not benefit from our technology. Uh, we've looked at defence, uh, oil and gas, uh, aluminium, steel, mining, rail. The solutions we can offer these industries are endless, the possibilities are endless, and we're working all, in all those fields to, to offer, or hardly to offer, cost competitive, time competitive processes that are not currently available by other competing technologies.